good to everybody. Alright, so this one is about... It's loud. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, <laughs> this one is about... Um, being around loving people. Staying away from your cell phone. And, uh, eating. So whenever I'm around, like, really loving people, like, I just start to feel better. You know, I sleep better. I don't, I don't have, like, really crazy dreams. Sometimes the loving people that I surround myself or they start to go into my dreams. And your whole life really changes when you surround yourself around loving people. But I think in order to do so, um, you have to be love, you have to be a loving person. You can't go around asking for love. Uh, my buddy Tyler said yesterday, um, how are you going to give love when, you, when you're asking for love? Um, you know, and the one way to be love and, and, and give love and not ask for love is to, um, <clears throat> you know, deal with all the pain in your life, you know, go through the pain process, um, you know, learning from the pain, letting the pain go, moving on, which is what I talked in, um, um, writing off depression 45 and 42 about, you got to really go through that process to be a more loving person. And once you become uh, more loving and you become happier, um, you attract more loving people in your life. You know, I'm not that big of a fan of that law of attraction thing. Uh, and it's, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but I live across the street from an ashram and I see a lot of people struggling with that, you know, where they like, oh yeah, I believe in the law of attraction and oh yeah, if I think things, things will come my way. But they don't really focus on having really good work ethic and time management and being to work on time and things like that. So they struggle with the simple things in life, like being to work on time, being a hard worker, these things, because they believe if they, you know, conjure up certain things in their mind, they're going to get everything they want in life. You know, in order to get everything in you, in you want in life, you have to you work, you have to work at things, you know, you have to be a hard worker. You have to understand time and time management and getting to work on time, actually being early for work and um, have the, the mind frame like, I don't have to do this, I get to do this, you know. Um, but, you know, law of attraction, there's nothing wrong with it, but, you know, you need to tackle the things in life that will help you survive, which is being a hard worker and good time management, getting to work on time. So anyways, so yeah, so, um, yeah, you got to work at it, you know, if you, if you want to, um, be happier and have more love in your life, um, you got to work on it. You know, if, if, um, um, instead of avoiding the pain, you gotta work hard to get rid of the pain, you know, it takes work. Um, so anyway, surrounding yourself around loving people, uh, uh, God, life it just feels so much nicer. But in order to do that, I really believe that, you know, you're, you have to work on your own happiness and, and, and develop that love within, 
which is what I talked about from fighting off depression 1 through 30 million. Uh, when I do surround myself around mean people or unloving people, like I'm really affected by it because I think that's what love is, you know, I mean, that's what life is. Life is love, you know, that's what it is. When, if, you know, for instance, right? Like, so if you are around loving people, you feel great. You feel terrific when somebody cares about you and you connect with somebody and you, you feel like they love you and they care about you. You have this great feeling. It's a beautiful feeling. And when you're around unloving people, that don't really listen to you, that are distracted on their cell phone when you're talking to them, and, you know, the, you feel like they don't care about you, you know, uh, they don't value who you are, they don't love you, when you get this bad feeling around them. Like, you don't feel very good once when somebody, when you feel like somebody doesn't care about you or value you or love you or... Um, And the reason for that, I really believe the reason for that is because when it all comes down to it, life is love. Like that's all it is. That's why you feel great when you're around love and loving people. And that's why you feel awful when you're not around loving people. Because that's, that's the concept of life. It's the whole thing. Um... One way to feel better, like for instance, a couple of days ago, I ate really unhealthy food because I was partying with my niece and my mom. <laughs> and I didn't bring my dinner, which I usually bring because I make my own dinner every day, um, every morning because I'm really healthy. I, you know, claim, I don't claim to be healthy, I don't claim to be anything, but I try. Right? Uh, Yoda would not like that. Uh, <laughs> Yoda doesn't like the word try. So, uh, but I know from the yogis that you should never claim to be anything because you constantly have to defend yourself and it brings stress and worry into your life. Um, so, yeah, the other day I ate really unhealthy stuff. I ate like pizza and, and, and cookies and toast with butter on it. Oh, God. And like for the next like day or two, I felt like I just didn't feel right, man. Like I just felt awful and... Oh, God, man. And it really does affect you. And we're so used to this, like, Western diet that we don't think it really affects us. We're just like, oh, whatever, I eat what I want. It doesn't really affect my mood or my happiness or... <clears throat> but if you actually stop eating that stuff... And you started eating like just natural foods and not processed foods. Like two weeks would go by. And you'd be like, oh my gosh, man. Like I just feel better. Like, wow. So nice. And then you might go into that nightmare stage where you like, you look at like, the last year of your life and you were like it had a weird coating of darkness and nightmare on it and I can't figure out why and uh and the reason for that is probably because of what you were eating what and I know nobody likes to hear that stuff they're like screw you man 
I don't like to be told what to do. Don't tell me to eat this kind of healthy food, you know, because people are like that, right? Um, so anyways, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, nobody likes to be told what to do. Especially about eating, man. Like, people have their things. So I'm sorry for overstepping that boundary. I know... Nobody likes to be told what to eat. Um, sorry, I'm power drinking right now. Uh, I'm about to like work out and do yoga, so like I need to intake as much liquid as possible. So, anyways, uh, yeah, and and the cell phones, man, like the YouTube. Like I just went on this like Brene Brown, uh, Michael Singer, uh. Uh, 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 see the soul guy, I forget his name, uh, uh, Ben Bergeron, like, binge on YouTube because I felt like I was just so still in my life that I wasn't really learning any new things. And I was just like, well, let me learn some new things. And then I got caught up with it. And I started listening to YouTube for, like, three, four hours every morning of all these different, like, you know, interviews of all these different people. And I did it for about 17 or 18 days. And by the 19th, 20th something day, I wasn't even hearing what they were saying anymore. It was just words. And I wasn't getting anything out of it. And I was like, I... I've listened to these interviews so many times, I could pretty much predict what the people are going to say. And I'm like, I'm not learning anything anymore. I'm on autopilot. And I'm not as present throughout the day. I'm not as happy throughout the day. So I just stopped watching the videos every morning. And I started going back to my normal routine of just being still, sitting on the floor with silence. And I'm starting to feel much better. But don't get me wrong, it's really good to learn new things. Like Brene Brown, incredible help. Like ridiculous. Like Brene Brown could pretty much change your entire life. Um, I was going to dedicate my book to her because she had such an impact in my life. Um, and everybody is obsessed with her. Like Russell Brand just had like an hour and 22 minute interview with her. Um, uh, Oprah is obsessed with like everybody's obsessed with her. Like Eckhart Tolle, huge fan. Um, Gary Zukov's pretty cool. Michael Singer is really cool. Uh, ben Bergeron's really cool too. He's well-rounded as like a spiritual health fitness guru guy. Um, but yeah, man. So it's good to learn new things, good to listen to interviews, but don't overdo it because then you lose your connection with creation and nature and life. And it's harder to go into the present moment as well. And going into the present moment is really what creates you to be loving towards others and a really good listener. And it allows you to make people feel really cared about by being a good listener and by being present so you can be there with them and for them. All right, guys, have fun. Booyah! Nothing my heart couldn't slow me down. Power is power. <laughs> yeah, everybody was like not into the last like season of Game of Thrones. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's life. <laughs>